Hello children. Today we will discuss a very short, simple and sweet poem of class 10th, Dust of Snow. Dust of Snow by Robert Frost is a simple, sweet and short poem but with a deeper meaning. It shows how sometimes a small incident can be of bigger significance and can brighten up one's day. It talks about the healing power of nature. The poem goes like this. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree, has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I have rued. Here, the poet is not in a good mood as he says in the last line, day I have rued, that means he has been regretting the whole day. He has been sad about something. Root means held in regret. So we can think that the poet poem starts with the notion that the poet is not in a good mood. He is either sitting under the hemlock tree or he is just walking by the tree. It is not clear. So as he does so, a crow who probably was sitting on the tree, does snow on him. And this simple act by the crow lifts his mood, that means brightens his mood and saves some part of his day which till now he was spending in regret. Children, we often associate crow with bad luck and sorrow and hemlock tree is also a poisonous tree also associated with sadness. Here, the poet has stated that even inauspicious things like crow and hemlock tree can sometimes bring happiness in your life. We should not be very negative in our approach towards life. Sometimes good can come out of bad. So we should be open to accept the blessings, the blessings of life and nature, whichever way it happens. I will give you a simple present day example, the situation that we are feeling in present, present day. Today the world is facing very harmful and fatal coronavirus disease. We must be aware of that. We are all locked down into our houses. But do you know, even in this gloomy and regretful situation, something good is happening. What is that good which is happening in this gloomy situation? Have you seen nature? Have you seen rivers? Have you read news that how clear air has become, how clear rivers have become? So nature is healing. Families are coming close to each other. People are becoming more kind and accepting. Isn't it? So let's take life as it comes and take happiness in every small moment which life offers to us. So this simple poem gives a simple message that not everything that we consider bad is bad. There is some goodness in even in bad things. Let's see the summary of poem. The poet who is sad and gloomy for some reason has spent most of his day in regret till he comes below a hemlock tree where a crow sitting on the tree shook some dust of snow on him. This simple act of nature changes the poet's heart and lifts his mood and saves some part of the day which he has till now wasted in regret. The day got better and he probably started seeing life in a different angle. I hope you have understood the literal meaning of the poem children. Uh, now let's see some literary devices in the poem. So the form of the poem is lyrical. What is lyrical form of poem? Lyrical poetry is poetry in which the poet expresses his personal feelings and emotions. Uh, hence it is written in first person because the person himself is expressing his feelings. So the poet poem is lyrical. What is the theme of the poem? As we have seen the theme is positivity and optimism. Significance, significance of small natural events. Okay, talking about literary devices, rhyme, rhyme scheme of poem, it's A, B, A, B, 
CD, CD. If you go through the poem, you will realize, you will see that this is the way words are rhyming in the poem. Figure of speech is used in the poem. First, alliteration. What is alliteration? The occurrence of same letter or sound in closely connected words. So in the line and saved some part, saved some part, same sound, same uh, letter is repeating, has given my heart. Here, H letter is repeating closely connected and closely connected words. Other figure of speech is assonance. What is assonance? The prominence of vowel sound throughout a line. So in this line, shook down on me, O sound is repeating. So the figure of speeches we have seen is alliteration and assonance in the poem. Okay, now let's see question answers in the poem. First, what does dust of snow, what does the poet say has changed his mood? How has the poet's mood changed? Okay. So if we go by the poem, dust of snow are tiny particles of snow. When the crow sitting on hamlock tree, he shook himself, some dust of snow from the tree fell on the poet. Now here, uh, one thing is not clear whether the, when the, the dust, when the crow shivered, the dust, the snow fall, fell from him or it fell from the tree, but some dust of snow fell on the poet. Okay, this act, the simple act of nature, changed his mood. This act lifted the poet's mood. Till then, the poet was spending his day in sadness and regret, but this act saved the rest of his day. So this is how his mood was changed. Let's see another question. How does Frost present nature in the poem? So the poet has taken crow and hemlock tree in the poem, which are not commonly used by poets as both represent sorrow. Generally, poets take beautiful birds like nightingale, which is famous, which is known for its melodious voice, peacock, parrot, sparrow, such kind of birds. In trees also, oak, sal, cedar, not hemlock. But here, the poet has taken crow and hemlock. But here, the poet has represented them as the carriers of positivity and optimism. Okay, so here... The crow and hemlock tree, they represent positivity and optimism. As the simple act of crow shaking the dust of snow on the poet and it falling on him lifted his mood. Here the dust of snow can also be taken as small ray of hope in our gloomy days which can bring optimism in our life. Okay, so even small act, small happiness can brighten up our whole day, which we were still now spend, spend, uh, spending in sadness and regret. So here, the act of the small act was crow shaking dust on the poet. Let's see another question. Nature has the power of lifting your mood. Comment on the basis of poem. Answer. Nature holds the key to happiness. Sometimes a simple walk in the nature can refresh our mood and make us happy. Have you ever um, been saturated in your whole day? Suppose your exams are going on and you have been reading throughout the day and in the evening you just go for a simple walk in the garden and this brightens up, this changes your mood, brightens up your mood. So the, Somehow nature has the power of making us happy, lifting our mood. This is what the poet is, poem is depicting. Like it happened to the poet in the, in the poem, he was spending his day in regret, but when a crow sitting on the hemlock tree dusted snow from the tree on him, it lifted his mood and saved rest of his day. Similarly, sometimes we feel gloomy and saturated, and an act as simple as walking in the garden changes our mood. Nature with all its unpredictability and surprises can benefit anyone. So do you believe in this, that nature has a healing power? I certainly believe in this. So I hope children, you like the poem, you like the explanation and you are clear with the poem. If you have any further doubt, please leave your question in the comment section comment section. Thank you and all the best for your session. Thank you very much.